Why, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nisi, aka Dollar Diva. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Okay, so you may have noticed by the title, this says my first haul. Well, this is my first haul after a year of being on a hiatus, coloring hiatus, guys. Oh my goodness. I, um, for about a year, I stopped uh, c coloring for the most part because my health, it was just crazy. I just, I, I didn't have the stamina or the energy or the, just the, the will to do anything, let alone a, a hobby or color or do anything, you know, extracurricular. It was just, it's been rough. So I finally have gotten my pain under control and I, uh, I just have been able to just jump on back into adult coloring. And I'm so excited guys. I, I forgot how good it felt to purchase and hunt for uh, coloring and art and craft supplies. Oh my goodness, half of this, the enjoyment of this hobby for me is purchasing new coloring stuff and trying it out and playing with it. And it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> so that's half of the fun, guys. So let me jump right on into this haul um, without further ado. Okay, so the, the things that I'm most, 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 most excited about, I'm gonna start with them. And that is my order from eBay. So I ordered me a second and third copy of my favorite coloring book, Color at Home, a young house love coloring book. I absolutely love this coloring book. I finished a couple pages in here, as you've seen on one of my last videos, my finishing pages videos. And I said, okay, I need to have a a couple extra copies of this book because I know I'm gonna wanna redo some pages in here. So I got me another copy, well actually two more copies of this book. So I have three copies in total. I ordered another copy of the Come Home to Color, Debbie McComer coloring, adult coloring book. You know, I love me some interior design coloring books. So if you have any suggestion for any home decor or interior design coloring books, drop me a comment below and let me know what your favorite ones are or if you like coloring these types of books or if you've seen these types of uh, coloring books, let me know so I can look it up and get it. <laughs> so I got me another copy of this one. I'm not as in love with this one as I am with the color at home. So I just got one other copy of this one because I wanna do a couple of other pages that I've already done in this one. I want to do it in this one too. So, I mean, I want to redo the page in this in this particular book also. So the last thing I got from eBay were these tricolor Crayola pencils. Now, oh my goodness, guys. <sighs> I, you know, I absolutely love my Koinor um tritones so the earth tone is the one that i mainly use for uh doing woodwork so i was looking online trying to find um like an earth tone just the earth tone pencils in the koi nori tritone sets now you can't get that pencil in the 12 set it does not even come in the 12 set you have to get the 24 set and I was like, I'm not buying 24 pencils just to get that one pencil. So I was looking it up to see how much that one pencil will be and it was like $8 for that one pencil. And then someone on Facebook showed me where there is a site where that pencil is like $2, but the shipping was like $8. So I'm like, come on, no. So I was trying to look and see if these uh, had a color in there that was similar to the earth tones and I was thinking maybe this grizzly bear that's the name of this one yeah I was hoping maybe this grizzly bear one 
was the same. So let's try it out and see. Okay. Oh, I hope it's the same <laughs> or even close to it. I'll be happy with close to it because that's the only one I really use in um in that in the corner tritone set. So here we go. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. Yes, guys. You know what? Let me get my tritone and we'll we'll do a, a comparison like right now here and there. Oh, we getting we getting somewhere now. Oh, oh yes. I'm excited. So here's the Koinori Tritone. Oh no, this is Tiger. I'm sorry. I should have known that was not the right pencil. This is my nub. <laughs> this is my earth tones. Okay. Let's get a little bit cleaner page. Do we have any cleaner pages? That's uh, that, here we go. All right, here we go. So there we go. That's the tritones. And that's the Crayola. Now it's not quite, yeah, that's, it's not quite, it's, let me try sharpening it. Get a little bit of that wax off. It's not quite like the Koinor. But I mean, it's it's okay. It'll do. I can tell that the the color chunks possibly okay. The Koinor is a little bit softer. I wouldn't order these again, but this is a good. This is a good starter set. This was like uh like eight dollars, nine dollars, ten dollars. The highest they run, you can get a set for thirteen dollars. So thirteen dollars compared to twenty-six dollars for just this one pencil, that's not bad. So it is comparable. I wouldn't order another set. I would just try to find my earth tones if I had to, but it'll it'll do. It's good. It's good. I think I like it. Okay, so that's my eBay purchases. And the next things I'm so excited about are my Amazon purchases. The first thing I got from Amazon, I'm gonna insert a picture so that you can see it. I got a rolling cart. Finally, 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 after everyone in the universe in a coloring world has gotten a rolling cart. I do a lot more coloring in my bedroom now, so um, I needed something that, you know, I could just put what I'm using because I, I use, you know, I use a lot of stuff on my pages, so I needed that. But um, I was able to find it at a price that I was comfortable with paying, which was $29.99 on Amazon. That was the cheapest I have ever seen them. So, yeah, I jumped on that. So, got that. Item number two are dun, 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 what everybody in the world has, the Castle Art Color Pencils. I finally got me a set, guys. I finally jumped on the Castle Art bandwagon. <laughs> and somebody has been writing all over the case. Okay. Castle Art, what are you doing? You got your kids there playing with the pencils first? I guess they're testing them out. But this came with a case. And I was like, okay, a case? Come with a case? A case? In the cheapest case you can find for 120 pencils is maybe 17 18 20 so 
you subtract $20 from the price that these were, which was $49.99. That's 30 bucks. So I, I say, I say I paid $30 for the pencils, but I wanted me a new set of pencils. You know, I want to play with a new set of pencils. <laughs> and everybody has been ranting and raving about the castle art. Soft touch pencils. And look at castle art is kind of fancy. Go ahead on castle art. You got brochures and stuff in here. Look at you. Okay. What? This is a color chart. Nice. Look at that. Go ahead on castle chart. Ca castle chart. <laughs> castle art. You're all fancy. Okay, already I see that castle art. They are they're pretty they're pretty upscale. Okay. So I'm 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 expecting quite a bit out of these pencils. I'm sure that these are going to be amazing. And of course, they have the name and number on them. So that is a beautiful thing. So let's try a ultramarine light. Ooh, we, oui. yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, these remind me of the Derwent Color Soft Pencils. I have a 12 set. And I wanted a larger set because, you know, I love me some soft pencils. Ooh, they are so soft and creamy. Oh, boy. Okay, this is going to be a whole nother video, guys. Um, I think I'm in love. Okay, I'm, I'm, mm, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Okay, yes. Thank you very much. This just doesn't seem like 120 pencils for some reason. I don't know why. But yes, um, I'm in the process of getting rid of... Yeah, okay, now it does. I'm in the process of getting rid of pencils that I'm not in love with. And only keeping pencils that bring me joy to use. So, Amazon purchase Castle Art. Number two... We got some gel pens from Color It. Everyone talks about these like crazy also. So I was like, okay, I need to get on the bandwagon with the Color It gel pens. I didn't get the regular set because I did not want any regular gel pens. I did want the metallic ones. Ooh, okay, we have a magnetic box going on here. Color it, all right, thank you. Oh yes, I'm keeping this box. And look, I got it because it had a case. So I'm like, I'm all about the cases. And then I'm all about the sparkle and the glitter, guys. Ooh, pretty. So you have 48 colors and you have 48 refills of the colors. So I think that's a really good deal. And then you have some coloring pages, apparently. You have three of them. Um, that one... And then you have a, oh, beautiful butterflies. And you have a color chart. So I guess you can kind of swatch it, swatch it out on here. And that's very cool. Very nice. Very nice. I'm keeping this box though. But I want to take my pens out of there. And I want to take this out of there. Because I'll probably store this box somewhere. This is so pretty. But the box is really nice. So I'm keeping that box. But... The pens are very nice. Oh, I like it. And I love the case. This is very nice. If you're interested in seeing me swatch those, just let me know. And we will get that taken care of. Okay? All right. So last but not least, from Amazon, we have, uh, I guess I... I don't know. I think I did that. I don't know. Yeah. 
We have some shuttle art, <laughs> 130 colors, gel pen kit with a case. Yes, it has a zipper case. Guys, you can tell a little theme going on here. I was only getting stuff with cases because I'm like, I'm not buying any cases. And I find myself not using pencils or pens or markers if they're not in a case. I will not use them. You know, if they're still in their tin or if they're, you know, in a pack or something, I'm not going to use them. I, I just, so I'm, I want to use all my coloring supplies now. So here we go, guys. Ooh, yes. Oh my goodness. I'm happy. I am happy. Look at there. We have some metallics. All those metallics. Look at a whole row of metallics. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And then some over here. Then we have a whole row pretty much of neons. Oh my goodness. Then we have a whole row of pastels and a white pen. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me... I can't even get it all in frame. So much, so big. Let me see. If I can move the camera up a little bit or something to try to get... Look at all of that beauty. Then we have our regular colors here. And then we have some more neon colors. And then we have our glitter. We have more neon colors or pastel colors. Then we have our glitter colors. The rest of the colors are glitter. And then we have a giant coloring book. Okay, shuttle art, I hear you. Look at you. Oh, and this paper is amazing. Look at there. The pages are double-sided. But that's okay. All right, Shuttle Art, you have delivered, I must say. Yes, you have. You have really delivered. Okay, so we got an adult color book that came with that. So all of these pens and the case, I think it was $30. So that was, that was worth it. This, yes. That, this, yes, that was worth it. You have a case, 130 pens, and a coloring book. And it was like $32 or $29.98 or something like that. But yes, I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay. Next, we have a haul from, purchased from, what is this? Um, Tuesday morning. Woohoo! Forgetting the names of all these places. But I saw these, the three-piece glitter ink set from Tuesday morning. Regular price is $17.75. It says what you can purchase this for. And they had it for $8.99. So you have the Spectrum Noir Sparkle. I saw they had the Spectrum Noir uh, Illustrator markers. And they were like skin tone sets and gray sets. And it was like four markers for like $8, I think. I was like... No, I have markers. I'm not even going to do that. I'm trying to refrain from just buying needless things that I know may get lost in the shuffle and I may not use. But I'm all into sparkle right now, guys. So, and you will see what's going on further on into the video about me and sparkle and stickles and what your girl is about to come up with. But stay tuned for that because it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> so I got this Spectrum Noir Glitter Ink. I thought this would be fun to try to play with and use. And one more thing I got from, what is this? Tuesday morning, $5.99, retail value $15.49. Was this Jane Davenport pastel palette or palette pastel in birthday suit 18 cake pastels now it's it says jane davenport making faces mixed media and here it is now guys this look nothing more like nothing more but um eyeshadow so but you know i'm very much into pastels and so this seems like something really nice to do skin tones with. I, it, of course, it says birthday suit, so skin tones for sure. But 
I'm like, is this just a big makeup palette? But for six bucks, I hey, you you can't even buy six uh tubs, not tubs, cakes or trays of eyeshadow at Dollar Tree for $5.99 for six dollars. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, eighteen. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. You know, guys, Dollar Diva is not going to buy anything unless it's a steal that I cannot pass up or that is something that I just really, 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 really want. Even if I really, 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 really want it, I'm still going to make sure it's a good deal. OK, so, yes, watch your Watch your girl for all the goodies and the budgets. OK. OK, next we have Joanne's art supply store so two kind of not coloring related things but i will probably use these in my coloring books maybe but i plan on using these for card making there are two uh wood stamps one says my favorite saying you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray <laughs> you all know that one and i love this one this is one of my favorites too i love you in the morning and in the afternoon i love you in the evening and underneath the moon do you guys remember that where is that from <laughs> it was uh, a TV show. I think it was Lamb Chops Play Along. But if you were born in the 80s or 70s, you remember this. It's uh, It was like, I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. <laughs> Am I showing my age, guys? Some of you probably used to have your kids to watch this Lamb Chops Play Along. I think that was Lamb Chops Play Along. If I'm wrong, put it in the comments below where that is. But it was Skidamarinky Dinky Dink. I love you. <laughs> so, got those two stamps. <clears throat> now, we have, yes, guys, we got some jelly rolls. I've been wanting to try the Stardust one, the clear Stardust one, gel ink, clear. So got that from Joann's and it was like $4.99 and I had a 40% off coupon. So your girl got some Jelly Rolls for two bucks. Yay. All right, now we're about to get into some stuff, Um, some very interesting things. We're about to get in some glitter. We're about to glitter up some stuff. Okay, so I'm going to mention this later on in the video, what I'm doing with these glitters. But I got these from Joann's and they were only $1.99 for each uh, tub. But if you can see, can you see the iridescent? Oh, can you see the iridescence in that, guys? There we go. So we have the white crystal. We have the imperial purple. We have the... Mint julep. We have the cameo pink. And last but not least, we have the slate. Okay, so we're just going to run through these. I'm not going to tell you what's going on with that. But just know that's it's going to be some it's going to be some stuff going on with these, okay? <laughs> these are extra fine glitters. And I made sure I got iridescent ones. And this one may not be super iridescent, but it was just too pretty to pass up. Okay, now we're getting into our Hobby Lobby haul. And 
first off, we have a new coloring book. Now, I saw um, Coloring Francis, Coloring F, do a page in this book. She did the wedding dress page. And I think I saw, um, what is her name? I love her colorings. Oh, my goodness. I watch her all the time. She's an amazing colorist. Oh, I just watched her November pages. I'll put her name up on the screen. But she did a page in here. I think it was the candy page. But, oh my goodness, guys. It was, it was amazing. Um, Coloring F did this page. But I think she did this page. The actual line art of it but it looked pretty much just like this and she did just an amazing job on it so I just I had to get it I had to get this book and because I'm probably going to want to color the images several times I'm probably going to copy the images onto cardstock and color them instead of coloring them in this book this is by Teresa Goodridge and it's Main Street Coloring Book and you know I'm all about fashion and decor this is well no i already told you that um shoes love me some shoes but if you like to see a flip for through of this video oh guys i must be getting tired i cannot talk if you want to see a flip through of this book let me know but i'm sure there are hundreds of them on youtube already but if you want to see one on my channel i'd be more than happy to do it for you so this is the one of the first things i got from hobby lobby The first thing I got that I'm so super excited about were these uh, pastel colored pencils. Now, all of Master's Touch items at Hobby Lobby were half off, so I was able to get these for only $22.50, which I was super excited about. Now, I love to use soft pastels in my coloring uh, books because it's so much easier for me to... Uh, do like backgrounds and things like that with pastels but I also use my Stabilo uh, Carbothello pastel pencils for certain things and my Derwent I just have quite a few pastel pencils so I I was looking online and I was like I need more colors so I was almost tempted to purchase uh, like the Stabilo 60 set but I was like, I do not, I'm not in the mood to spend whatever dollars for that 60 set. <laughs> so when I saw these, I was like, yes, guys. And I am so impressed with the packaging. They just, they packaged them very nicely. And although they don't have a wood casing on them, that's completely fine. I plan on using um my pencil extender with them to color with them so that may work or just you know putting on a glove or whatever you know and excuse the markers on my hands guys I'm just it's been a rough day <laughs> so there's the first set the first row and then here is the second row. And aren't those beautiful colors? Now, there are two whites. So I'm like, why are you saying it's 48? Well, it didn't say 48 colors. It said 48 pencils. But I'm like, why did you put two whites in here? Couldn't you have made that like a more of an ivory color or something? But I guess people use a lot of whites in their pastel drawings. But oh, well, anyway. So and I, these aren't two blacks. They're different. All these d blacks and grays and browns are different colors. So I did swatch them out. And they're very pigmented. I, I really, really like them. Wait a minute. You no, know, they're not. The, the blacks aren't really the same. That one's a little bit more brown. And that one's more of a midnight charcoal black black. So here are all the colors swatched out. They smear very well. I really, I really like them. I really like them. They are very comparable to the, the you know, the Carbothello. They're not quite as soft as the Carbothello, the Velo Carbothellos, but they're good enough for me. So I was super happy to get these for only 22 bucks. I wouldn't pay 44 
the regular price for them. I will wait till that 50% off sale comes around for the um, Master's Touch items. But yeah, so that's the first thing from Hobby Lobby. All right. The next thing from uh, Hobby Lobby that I got was the Glossy Accents. And this will be my first time trying these this out. You know, I love putting accents, love using stickles and uh, liquid pearls on my pages and jazzing it up with a little glossiness and shininess. So I was super excited to use this. Well, not to use this, but to get this. Um, I saw a couple other YouTubers uh, feature, well, mentioning using this in their colorings like kp colors oh my goodness she used glossy accents and she kept mentioning it in one of her videos and i was like okay i have to go and find that today so i went straight out to hobby lobby and picked up some glossy accents okay thank you kp <laughs> so got that from hobby lobby and i just threw it on the floor because i'm not getting ready to use it right now so i just just threw it you know, as far as it, it would land. <laughs> Next thing I got was a Jelly Roll pen. A bright white ink, the 0.3 millimeter. Three of them in here. Now, I have a Jelly Roll pen, but I do not like it. I have a Uniball Stabilo. I think it's Stabilo Uniball. No, Signo. Uniball Signo white pen. I do not like it. Neither one of them go over my Prismacolor pencils the way that I like it. So I end up using something else for my white accents, but I was like, well, maybe I have an old jelly roll or something that, because everybody else don't seem to have a problem. So I got these to see if it's just me. So we will see. I will let you guys know. Next, I got a Wink of Stella Clear from Hobby Lobby. And I have quite a few Wink of Stellas, but I have like silver, the gold, different colors. I don't have the clear. So I wanted to add that one to my collection of Wink of Stella. <clears throat> now, the next items from Hobby Lobby are a recent venture that I will be going on and that I will be sharing with you guys. So... I'm just going to go ahead and give you a heads up on what will be going on with all of this. Can you guess? Guess. Let me give you a few seconds to see if you can guess what, what Nisi is about to, to take on. And, and you know I'm always doing something I have no business doing. But let's see if you can guess. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Comment below. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Your girl is about to make stickles, okay? Now, here <clears throat> is my stickle collection, okay? And I have been wanting a black stickles for a minute. So I'll look online and... <laughs> Amazon is absolutely insane. They try to sell them for $6 a bottle. And some people say, well, you can get them from scrapbooking.com for like only $1.89 each. But their shipping is $12 for whatever you get starting out, $12.99. So I'm like, that still ends up being, you know, quite expensive. So you can get these for $2 each at Hobby Lobby if you can find the six pack, which is like $6.99 or $5.99. So that ends up being like $2 a piece, but they only have, you know, limited amount of colors. Okay. So I was like, man, I know I can make my own stickles. I know I can do this. So I made my own black stickles. Yes. I had some glitter and I had some clear Elmer's uh, glue and I put it together and guys, that's going to be on another video, but I'm just going to let you know. I'm never buying another bottle of stickles again, okay? <laughs> so it was a success. So this is where these come in. 
Hobby Lobby, I said, okay, I need to go buy some holographic glitter and iridescent glitter. And we can do we can do some stickles, baby. Okay. Buy some empty containers. Now I plan on purchasing more of these little containers on Amazon or eBay. They're a lot cheaper. You can get like a hundred of them for, you know, way cheaper than $249 for four. But I just wanted these few to kind of start out. That's fine. They have the exact same, you know. Well, not the exact same, but it's 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 close enough. So I got my glitter and I already had the clear Elmer's glue. But as you're going to see in the rest of the haul, you will see where I am just stocking up to, to go stickle crazy. OK, and I will be sharing that with you. So please comment below if that would be um, a video or series that you would be interested in. Are you interested in making your own stickles? I mean, I'm talking about putting them in the bottle, naming them, going the whole nine yards and name them, you know, uh, pickles, <laughs> you know, stickles knockoff. So look forward to that coming soon. And the only thing about stickles from other cheaper uh, glitter glues is that stickles has more glitter in them they have like they're really potent with glitter so you can add as much glitter as you like and you might even make a product even better than stickles hey we look we we are all about the budgets over here on dollar divas world okay now next let's get into the budget friendly dollar tree art supply haul oh my goodness guys okay so i went a little crazy at the dollar tree because I just started seeing so much stuff that I hadn't really been interested in looking at previously, like for the past year, because I hadn't really been into coloring, but I was, I forgot how good it feels to hunt for coloring supplies and art supplies and craft supplies. I just, I, my adrenaline was going, my heart was beating fast. I was smiling the whole time, you know, but Let's 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 just jump right on into it, okay? Let's get into the stickle area. Let's just go into the finding of the. Let's just continue on with the with the stickle mania that I plan to endeavor. I already have the Elmer clear glue, so when I saw the Jot clear glue for one dollar, I was like, "Hey, we can get that, and we can try that," you know. So we got the Jot. And before I found the Jot, I saw this, which is foam and poster board adhesive. So this is glue that's fast holding, dries clear, stays flexible. So it's really thick. It's a super thick glue. So I know I saw a couple of videos that mentioned, you know, making stickles. Uh-oh. I don't think that's supposed to be like that like open Ooh, it is strong smelling though and then it's like uh-uh no that ain't right it's got the no we taking that back but it, they had a lot of them so it shouldn't be a problem but anyway it's really thick so a lot of people that was making the stickles videos and making their own stickles was saying you know try to get a clear a glue that is kind of thick but if you need to water down, blah, 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 blah. So we'll see. We'll see what we need to do with that. So I got that glue. And I found quite a few of these Crafter Square glitter glues. It's two of those because I was like, you know how we love our diamond and crystal stickles? Well, there you have it. Okay, so now you might be saying, okay, Nisi, those are not stickles. Those are cheap glitter glues and you're going to be messing up here. What I plan to do is add more glitter to these glitter glues to make them more potent. Because like I said, the only difference between uh, stickles, let me get one of the stickles let's get the crystal yeah the only difference well let's see stardust 
they pretty much the same. The only difference between the stickles and this glitter glue is the amount of glitter in it. So all I have to do is take this glitter glue here and add a little bit more glitter, okay? I can either do the metallic holographic or I can do the iridescent pastel, even though they look exactly the same. No, they're not the same. This one, this holographic one has more pink in it and this one does not have a lot of pink in it. So, and this stickles, the crystal one looks like it has more green flakes and the stardust has more rainbow flakes. So I might add a tiny bit of green in one of my things to make it, but I'm gonna, I'm going to try to make the exact replicas of some of these different stickles. You know, I'm gonna try to do, see if I can make exact replicas in consistency and glitter amount, okay? So those are those glitter glues. Next, I saw these glitter glues and I was like, okay, Rich Art Glitter Glue. Um, this one is Ice Purple, this one is Ice Yellow, and this one is Royal uh, Ice Royal Blue. And I thought these were very, they, they look, they don't look um, watered down. They look very, very holographic and, you know, opaque. That's what I want to say. So we got those. Yes, got those. Next things I got and... We are still in line of making our own items. So the next thing that I'm interested in making my own is my liquid pearls, okay? So I have six different colors of the liquid pearls and then I have the Fiber Castell Texture Gems. So I was like, I can make these liquid pearls. I really can. So let me show you what I did. I actually made me a yellow version of the liquid pearls right here. And what I did was I have these um, puff paints. I saw these at Dollar Tree and I was like, okay, okay, look, look, puff paints. What can I do with that? Maybe I could just use it as a paint by itself. But then when I thought about making the liquid pearls, I said, wait a minute, especially the white one. I can take this and, um, well, I have an open one. Let me get the open one, guys. Hold on one second so I can show you the name on it. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. It's a 3D textured paint. And here it is, got a second one. It's 3D fabric paint, yes. <clears throat> it's in the color white shiny. So I said, okay, maybe I can use this for just white raised textured things but then I said wait a minute I might be able to make my own liquid pearls okay so I put it in this little thing here this little container and I added my yellow calligraphy iridescent ink that I got from Hobby Lobby I shook it up really really good and got all that uh, mica glitter going up in there and I added it to this and it made a perfect perfect you can't really see the iridescent in it but it made a perfect liquid pearl and the it was raised up a little bit just like the liquid pearl so, guys, I'm not playing. I'm, look, nobody has $8 to be spending on uh, Nouveau Crystal Drops and Nouveau Metallic Drops 
and liquid pearls only come in like these few colors and I got these from uh, Hobby Lobby a long time ago uh, on clearance um, so and look we just we trying to we trying to be on a budget guys you know if you can make it yourself then if I can make it myself, then I'm just going to go ahead and make it myself so I can, you know, just be creative. But anyway, moving on. All right. So keeping in line with paint, we just got a couple few of these paying, praying, not paying, praying, ready to use tempura paint. So I figured these three colors, I could always use these. So we got those. Now to help me to make my stickles. And to store them, I got these storage containers. I got these storage containers. And I got this little tool to help me get my glitter out of my glitter containers or whatever. Now, the next thing I'm going to be making is Winkastella. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't leave that out. So I got some loose eyeshadow and guys, this is exactly the same thing as Mica that, you know, you can get from Hobby Lobby. Mica is pretty much just glitter, like a powder that's glittery and iridescent. So these loose eyeshadows, I actually use these on my eyes. So I have quite a few of them already, but I wanted to get some specifically for, um, specifically for coloring. So I'll be adding these to some watered down, like water and a little bit of glue or something and see if I can do some wink of Stella's, wink of Stella's in these colors. I have sunshine, radiant, snow white, and honeysuckle. All right, the next thing we have are a few tools. This is a dotting tool. I figured I can use this for something to make dots on my coloring pages. I already have a dotting tool, but it's for my nails. So I don't wanna have to take that one out of the container. So I just bought that extra one. And remember on my last video, on my finished pages video, I was telling you guys how my fingers were hurting because I was coloring and stuff. Well, we're going to see if this is going to help me. We got some finger protectors to see when, you know, when, when I'm coloring, I'm a very heavy handed colorist. So I, I, I hold a pencil like the, the death grip. So <laughs> hopefully that'll be a little cushion for me. Okay. Next, guys, will be some things that I got for my pastels, uh, for applying my pastels. I have a beauty blender that I got from Dollar Tree that's going to help blend out my pastels. I got a 20-pack of the eyeshadow applicators that's going to help blend out my pastels. And I got these the small tongue. Okay, so I was hoping that maybe I can put my cotton tip here then pull, push it up and it'll hold it and I can just you know just put my pastel spray my pastel with no problem the next thing I got was this foundation brush and I saw quite a few people using these uh, I think Frances um coloring Frances uh, she had an applicator a brush, a foundation brush that she was using, I think, for her distress inks. I don't even think she uses distress inks, but I know Zucchini Kitty. I think that's her YouTube name, but she uses a lot of distress inks. And I think I saw her with a foundation brush. But I was like, okay, these are at Dollar Tree. Let me pick one up because I have some distress inks that I need to start getting into. And I haven't. So I figured, hey. Why not, dollar? Next, we have, they had some different colors of the glitter markers. So I got these different colors here that I did not have that I can add to my collection of glitter markers. 
Next, I found some stencils. I was very happy to find these. Let me see if I can let you see the, the patterns. Well, anyway, I think you can see the patterns really well. Yeah, you can see them a little bit. So let me turn it around. It has four patterns and I thought these would be great for backgrounds. So I got those and I got the, uh, what do you call these? Feathers? Yeah, the feather ones. And last but not least, I got a placemat. Now, I was looking for the double clear cutting mat pack to make my page protectors, but I could not find them. So I got this smooth placemat. And I was just able to just cut it down to the size that I need. So this is the size that I usually use for my larger, my, like my square coloring books. And I just had the other side that was left over that I could just use for whatever. So that's my haul, guys. Oh my goodness. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you would like to see me using any of these products. Comment below. Let me see how many of you are interested in seeing me make my stickles and do the comparison video and making my liquid pearls and all that good stuff. Just comment below. And, and if enough people are interested in seeing me make that video, then I'll make it. If not, you know, if only a few of you are interested, then I still probably might make it, you know. <laughs> but I would like to see what the interest is in people seeing you know what they can do with and how easy it would be what they can do with budget-friendly supplies and everything or something like that but anyway uh give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoy shopping for coloring supplies and art supplies give this video a big thumbs up and guys again i am so excited to be back thank you so much for hanging out with me today and as always ha be coloring. Bye.